Hey, what is up, Pump Force? Welcome back to another video. Zenkai7 Palms are here, and today we are going to talk about the TOP mode. I finally made it to Z tier or Z League. Zenkai7? I don't know. Um, yeah, so today I want to show you my strategy for this season. It's slightly changed, and I also want to show you different routes you can take. Um, I will show you that on the example of Z, uh, Z League. I need to okay, get used to saying Z League instead of Z tier. But the principles apply to every other league. So it doesn't matter if you're in S League, if you're in A, B, C League, whatever. But these strategies should apply to all of the different leagues. So with that uh, further ado, let's get started. All right, so first off, uh, the first thing you always have to think about is what team am I going to use, right? And uh, yeah, I'm going to show you mine. I'm still debating whether or not uh, I will switch out the Merch the Mask for uh, the Green Buhan because the Green Buhan is tier one. Let's go for that. Um, but yeah, I'll see. I might switch out Cell for Buhan, but Cell is a Zenkai unit, so he has higher stats, he heals. And that is one thing that I have learned two seasons ago when I did not manage to get promoted to Z League is healing is key. So as you can see, I have Baby and Boo. And both of these units, if we have a look at their abilities, um, here we go, uh, applies here, uh, restores uh, allies health by 3% on the end of the second turn. However, Baby is an even better healer. Baby restores 3%, I think, at every uh, turn end. Here you go. End of turn, ally attack GT or regen restores uh, health by 3%. And it gives 30% to health restoration for two turns. That means that the next two turns it actually restores... Is it 4%? Should be. Almost 4%. Um, so that's, that's the one thing. And then I opted to choose units that heal. So we have uh, Android 21. Why did I take Android 21? First off, this. 20% to max HP. And um, yeah, the one thing is you don't want to go heal. I'll explain a little bit why you don't want to heal. And uh, that means that every healing is boosted as well. So if you have 1 million HP, you boost that by 20%, you have 1.2 million HP. And obviously, if you have a healer that heals 3%, 3% of 1.2 million HP is more than 3% of 1 million HP. So you also regain more HP, making you a little bit more durable. On top of that, um, at the end of the second turn, you can see it here. Whoops. She heals 10% uh, of her HP as well. So that is definitely helpful. Cell even heals 20%. There you go. Applies buff effect restores up to 20% of damage received though. So depending on how much damage he got, if he heals, if he gets 10% damage by an attack, he heals 2% of his total HP back and so on. However, why I am debating of uh, switching in Buhan is um, his ability to have the barrier, his bubble shield. So, um, the second, second unique, here we go. So, first of all, he restores 15% of damage received up to 15% of own HP. So, that's almost as good as Cell. But, before receiving a strike or blast arts, he activates special action and nullifies attack once. That is his green card that you know, his bubble shield, right? So I'm thinking of switching him out either for Cell or for Merch Damasu. However, I only have Merch Damasu as one cover change unit. And you can see here, before receiving a Strike Arts attack, health is 30% or lower, allies in range performs a cover change. And he cover changes for three units. And I am not sure I have seen a unit cover change for three units before. So yeah, for me, um, I don't care anymore about Tier 1 or Tier 2. I am using healers. And obviously Bootanks, because Bootanks is just OP. Bootanks, uh, I think, gets like a guaranteed special move in the first turn. Here you go. So activate special action, 30% to damage inflicted, 100% to special move gauge. So just boom. You can snipe a red unit. And there's quite a few red units out there. So, uh, you know, it helps. And before we, uh, before we go on further, let me just uh, make a little advertisement. On our public Discord... Um, which you can see here, or on my public Discord, the community's public Discord, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let me just go down here. Uh, we do have two channels where we geek out over the Tournament of Power, and we have some people in there that have ranked in the top hundreds. I think Noctis even ranked 11 last season. So if you want uh, to discuss with people who actually have some knowledge, even more than me, join the public Discord. Link in the description down below. 
And one thing in particular I want to show you is, uh, thanks to Absolute Zero's work here, is he made a little guide. I'm going to turn off uh, my camera so you can see it better. Of the cover change unit that uh, we already have in the game. So you can see Super Saiyan Ultra Goku covers two blast units. The one right and left to him and the one behind that. Jiren covers strikes uh, to the front. Android 21 covers everything before, like in front and behind her and so on. So um, make sure that you keep that in mind and we will get back to that in just a little bit. Now with that said, um, I think I will uh, remove Cell, do this. And before we uh, actually start, I want to show you something. And that is, uh, there are different kind of routes you can take, right? So there is a route that maximizes your fists. So you start with the five fist, then you go to the three, you go over here and uh, go on and so on. I will highlight the routes in, uh, in post, I guess. So we have the first half here and I will highlight you especially every fifth battle because every fifth battle is really important. Why is every fifth battle important? You get a specific consecutive win streak bonus every fifth battle. And it starts by, I think, 50% on the fifth one, 100% on the tenth one, and up to, uh, or is it 20% on the first one, and definitely 200% on the last one. Now, there are exactly 25 tiles. So if you use one heal, yeah, if you just use one heal or team restore space, you are going to miss out on that last tile. And that means you're not going to be able to get that 200% consecutive bonus. So that last boss can give you up to four or even more than four million points. And one other thing that uh, we've noticed this season is there are a lot of extreme units. Extreme units usually don't have kits. So Rosie, Kakunsa, they don't usually have TOP abilities, which means you can kind of, you know, deal with them later. So for example here, um, depending on your color wheel, I would probably deal um, with Lavender, Basil, Champa, then the extremes and then the tank, which is uh, Bergamo. And why do I want to deal with Bergamo last is because if you are in the fourth turn, the very last action of your battle is always going to be your rising rush. That means that Bergamo cannot pop his barrier because it's a rising rush and you are almost definitely killing him depending on what unit is doing the rising rush. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. And also keep in mind that um, you will uh, get points based on how much damage you deal, how much damage you take and how quickly you are actually able to kill your opponent. And that is why um, I would not always advise for, you know, shooting for the highest amount of fists, but choose a potential safe route if your health is low. So it's better to use a couple of three or four fist fights than to actually uh, go for all the five fisters and then die or having to heal and then missing out on that 200% ability bonus or consecutive win streak bonus, because that resets once you die too. So you're missing out on a lot of potential points here. Now letting me, uh, let's me, let me move up. Um, again, I will uh, give you a couple of routes here um, in post. And important again is not the middle boss because that's not the 10th battle. I think it's two after this one. And then there's one more battle. It's, it's around here, it's this row where you cannot get a five fist fight, but there is one four fist fight. So make sure you plan ahead Make sure you plan your route so that you can actually get that four fist fight because that gives you more points, obviously, uh, with that. It should be a 150% consecutive bonus. And uh, yeah, keep that in mind. I'm going to quickly put on some equips and we are going to go into the first four matches. All right, so I found a couple of equips and um, we're going to put them on because I want to tell you that uh, equips are really, really important, especially um, farming the HP equip. So if I filter for iron, you can see here, I farmed all red and some of them are maxed out. Most of them are very close. I mean, otherwise you wouldn't get a red slot, but you can see 4.85, 4.85, 5 and so on. So uh, it, it's really important for TOP to actually have those five extra percent because I mean, that can make or break, oops, uh, that can make or break your character. Here we go. There, there. Okay, and we are going to get the fat boo back because I, I need a healer. Okay, I need him. There we go. So we put on these equips first, and now we are going to go on to the other equipments. 
And I have tried to farm at least a red slot equip, like a red first slot equip for everything, but of course that doesn't always work out. So let's see, what does this do? Green gives a strike attack and strike defense. So I think he can take uh, one that has a little bit less defense. I'm going to give the red slot to Buhan because he needs more defense. And then here uh, we have blast defense and strike defense. So we're going to give him the A. We're going to move on to Buhan. Buhan now gets that red first slot Piccolo and he gets the other Piccolo. Let me see. Uh, strike attack. So we need this A here because this 8.2% strike attack. See, that also helps deal more damage, obviously. And those percentages, they add up, especially with your Zenkai abilities, your Z abilities and all that stuff. So let's go on to Baby. And uh, Baby gets... He doesn't... Ah, you don't get this. You get that one. And... This one is for support type. I don't think we have too many support types, so I can give him this A. He gets both attacks up. So yeah, baby really needs the damage. All right, we have, uh, I guess that's yellow. Blast attack. Definitely something that Piccolo needs. And we have uh, the defense type here, blast defense and strike defense. That's both sevens. Yeah, that's better, okay. All right, next up we have Bootangs. Bootangs is getting that uh, first red slot uh, blast strike attack equipped. Though he's a, actually a, a range type, so it doesn't really matter that much because we're going to uh, let him do blast attacks. And here we go, strike defense and blast attack. Okay, which has the highest blast attack actually? 6.9. Okay, we're gonna take the first one. Move on to DKP. DKP is a melee type. We're gonna let him do strike attacks as much as possible. Five, five, six. I go with that one then. And does this one also give him strike attack? No, it doesn't. Blast attack and strike defense. Okay, we're going to take that second one. And we're going to quickly go through this. Yeah, for them it's not as paramount. There's an A. Zamasu. This. And, and here we go. So, what I now actually want to show you. Um, if you have cover change... Yeah, yeah, challenge. Let's go. If you have cover change units, like for example, uh, the Vegito Blue. Let me just go back real quick to uh, to the Discord. You can see right here, Vegito Blue only covers units that are behind him, right? You can see that on my cursor right here. He covers units that are behind him to the left and behind him to the right. And what that means is that here, you see Vegito is all the way at the front. And actually, this is also the way that the units are put on the battlefield. So if Vegito is all, would be all the way at the back where this guy is right now, the extreme Vegeta, that would mean he would not cover anybody because the unit that is all the way here at the top left at the first spot in this position in this grid will be the units that is the most front one in the grid. There is no unit ahead of them. So if there is a unit like Jiren that would cover to the front and he is the first slot, he wouldn't cover anything. You don't need to prioritize him. However, since this Vegito blue, can cover to the back. You are going to prioritize him before uh, potentially getting a cover change for Trunks, Super Kaioken, or any of the extreme units. So since we now have that grid, let me have a look. We are going to, yeah, we're going to start with that five fist. We're going to switch the order a little bit. Um, technically, I think I will swap him out. Wait, so. Another thing is, get rid of the characters first that are most dangerous to most of your characters. So probably the tr uh, the trunks because I have purple or it could be you know, like the, the Kaioken that is uh, dangerous to my blue units. I don't have too many reds, but we are still going to start off with Vegito Blue. I'm going to go here. You get that special move. Actually, you get that special move because you go first. And I will swap you out for 17. And we are going to put Buhan over here so he can get the heal from Fat Boo. And that's pretty much the way we're going about this. Except that, yeah, so since Bootangs gets is a blast, uh, blast type, let's have a quick look. If uh, everybody has the... Yeah, you need to definitely go for a blast. Uh, you are... A, I hate that you have to click on them again. But yeah, you're a melee type. That's fine. You have, should have melee as well. You should all have strike cards, right? Yes. Okay. So that's it. And now we can hope that Bootanks is going to just snipe him. We are then going to get rid of uh, 
Super Kaioken Goku, this, and then uh, in that order. So let's see um, where we where we come out at the end. Okay, did we kill everybody? We killed everybody. Nice, because that also doesn't always happen. So you also need to be uh, aware of that. Okay, next fight, three fists. Okay, this doesn't look too bad. Um, I think I will this time I will get Boo Tanks over here. You get the crits. She's, she's still look at this 100%, 96. So you get that heal. Actually, Boo Tanks is at 85, so we're gonna do this instead. Uh, get the heal from Boo. Now let's see. I think we're gonna go for Frieza first and uh, snipe him away. Then go for this. Uh, that. No, actually the tank last, so let's do it this way. Alright, should be good. Let's hope. It's a three-fist battle, but sometimes those are treacherous, and uh, I have uh, more than once not killed every unit on a four-fist battle, so it can happen to you as well. Make sure to get the, the order right. And let's see. 929k. Uh, health looking great. We killed everybody. Perfect. Moving on. This is battle number three, four, and we definitely need to land on this one on the battle five or on that one. And we are definitely on track to be able to do this. Okay, so this one, ooh, this one's a little bit more annoying region. We have the bubble shield of Buhan. Uh, we have two red units, which one of which I will snipe away with Boo tanks. So, uh, key recovery. I'm going to move you here. And I want... Uh, but, but, but I want you to be a little bit faster and you so we can kill the red units first and we should be okay who healing again and yeah, he's at 100% so never mind 100 so that's always how you how you should look at it as well is uh, are your units at full HP who needs to be healed and uh, if I need more heals I will swap in baby so we are going to snipe hopefully Omega we are going to kill Piccolo before he gets to transform. Boo heals. And then we do this. Alright, let's see if that works out. Okay, and... Yep, we killed everybody. Looking good. I'm not gonna <laughs> put you through playing the battle because that's gonna take forever. Okay, so now, uh, we actually have three battles here we could pick. Um, I'm going to go by which one has the best boost panels here. This one has just the blast attacks. Now the question is, does this one... Look, this one has two healing tiles, right? And you still go five after, but uh, then you have less fists. So you might want to go this way. How many healing tiles does this have? Zero. Zero, but it still has a, a ton of boost tiles, so we might just go there anyways. And I think I will try and maximize my fists for now. And if my health gets low, as I said earlier... We're just going to go back. Okay. So. Last attack. Take a low. You get your special move. And uh, let's see. Bootings gets damage re uh, reduced. That's pretty much it, I think. Uh, will not. You're at 100%, so you don't need to heal. He could use the heal. So actually what we could do is... Put him here, put him there. We get all the tiles and we heal the units that need healing. Okay, we're going to start off with Beerus because he immobilizes uh, after the first turn. I don't want Shallot to transform. And then we are going to do you, you, and then Piccolo as last one. So let's see how that works out. And this is going to be the last battle before the next reset. I want to see where we come out. But don't, uh, don't forget that... People who are leading the leaderboards right now might not be the ones who actually get to win in the end. And that's why my strategy of picking the teams that are at the top after four of the five fights is not the best because those might actually maximize for damage and then lose out because they die. So you need a hybrid strategy, which means you need to actually think about your team. And as you can see, we killed everybody again. Let's have a look where we are right now. And then we're going to end it off. There we go. Okay, we are rank 42. Not too bad. Very close to, you know, everybody else here, you can see. 
And uh, let's see. The first person has how much? 4.5, 4.6. Let's have a look. Well, not even. So we're really close. We have 4.438. They have 4.492. So with that said, um, I hope that this video helped you. If it did, consider leaving a like, subscribing to my channel. And again, check out the description for my Twitch. I stream Tuesdays and Thursdays, sometimes in between randomly. Plus, uh, join the Discord because there you can definitely get competent help about the TOP mode. And uh, yeah, I hope, again, this helped you. If not, if you have any questions, write down in the comments. Come by my stream, join the Discord, and uh, we'll geek out over TOP. Until then, I'll leave you some videos on the cards to watch. I'll see you all in the next ones. Have a good rest of your day, and uh, good luck in TOP. Pop Forest, disassemble. Bye, everybody.